What's up, mother hmm. It's Money Moicano here, and we will do the prediction video for Jax Hamilton versus Joey Pfizer. And remember, that's the real prediction channel, not the other channels that people say that are going to lose, okay? Stay tuned. UFC Fight Night Vegas, and we have one more UFC in the Apex. If you ask me, are you excited about the UFC? No, not really. But as a journalist, as an MMA journalist, I have to keep track of the fight. So first fight of the main card, we have Rodolfo Vieira versus Armand Petrosian. And that's going to be, as always, in every Rodolfo Vieira fight, is like a wrestler, a grappler versus a striker. It's not an MMA fight. Rodolfo Vieira will shoot for takedowns since the beginning. And if he gets Armand Petrosian down, most likely he will finish. But again, I'm not sure. I remember when he fought the Mexican guy. He got on the mount. He couldn't finish. But on his last fights, he's doing better on, on, on MMA. And Armand Petrosian, well-rounded, good striker good on the ground sometimes he try takedowns he tries to control on the top but against Rodolfo Vieira 100% he's going to try the Anderson Silva style my brother going backwards kicking punching he doesn't want anything to do with Rodolfo Vieira on the ground but I still think Rodolfo Vieira will get it done and I have bad news for you Armand Armin Petrosian is training as America Top Team and I should pick him as a favorite but my pick today is Rodolfo Vieira I'm sorry Armin Petrosian but that's not gonna be your night my friend I'm sorry let's move on to the next one Michael Johnson and Darius Flower I remember watching Darius Flower one time in UFC on the 170 division and he looks very bad. <laughs> I don't like <laughs> I don't like his style. I don't want to be disrespectful. But again, I remember him fighting a, a, a white guy. Like his style was not the greatest. His striking, not good. His grappling is okay. But he's fighting Michael Johnson. Michael Johnson have been in UFC for a long time. Fought a lot of people in the UFC especially. I think his best years war in the lightweight but he's coming off a huge loss for Diego Ferreira a crazy knockout he was unconscious on the ground and I think he's too old I don't think he's the same and Dari Flowers like I say he was to he used to be a 170 guy so probably he will be better in, in this division he doesn't look very uh tall he's 5'9 he's even smaller than Chan than than Johnson so I don't know what he was doing in the 170 definitely doesn't have the size to be in 170 I know everybody loves Michael Johnson and I, I know Dari Flowers is not that good but in the end of the day I think Dari Flowers will clinch will shoot for takedowns will make a ugly fight in the meaning he's not gonna get uh, the takedown easy because Michael Johnson can defend the takedown and he has been doing that for a long time he defend a couple of Khabib shots but again I think Derry Flowers he's going over there make it ugly clinch boxing and trying to maintain the pressure and eventually he gonna get Michael Johnson uh, to the ground or making him so tired that he can get a TKO or something like that so my pick for that fight second fight of the main event Darius Flower but again that's going to be a not an easy fight to watch and then we have next fight Brad Tavares against Gregory Rodriguez Brad Tavares is a well-known name on a 185 division he fought Adesanya he been in UFC for a long time he's known by his defensive wrestling he was never a guy that shoot for takedowns he's a striker everybody knows Brett Tavares has the style like tough kid can take a punch you know good chin solid 
takedown defense. So he is one of these old guys. Remember, like when Jose Aldo, Renan Barão, Anderson Silva, they used to be like, that was the style at the time. And Brad Tavares is still doing that 10 years later. Like, I am a striker, I will defend takedowns, and I'm going forward. And that's it. That's Brad Tavares' style. So nowadays, it's very hard to do that. You have to be like a genius on the strike if you want to be like that. That being said, he's fighting Gregory Rodriguez. Gregory, Gregory Rodriguez, Brazilian guy, tough as hell, powerful, knockout power, very good BJJ, very good BJJ. But sometimes I feel he is a little bit slow. Sometimes he's not trying uh, and not shooting for takedowns and that's bad because I think his best attribute is his grappling. Sometimes he has like crazy fast twitch muscle takedowns. Like he shoots like a, a Olympic wrestling. And sometimes on the feet, he's just too stationary. You know, doesn't move too much. Doesn't use like the, the, the balance, the footwork. I think he's not gonna be able to take Brad Tavares down. If you guys remember, Brad Tavares was beating Drico Duplessis until Drico Duplessis did his magic and used his God to him because he's using something and he's not from this earth, my brother. Drico Duplessis keeps winning, but I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how, but if you remember the fight against Brad Tavares, Brad Tavares was beating him and then something happened something out of this world, my brother. And for me, that shows that Brad Tavares is tough. He is still tough competition. I think he will be able to stop and to stop Gregory, the Robocop Rodriguez takedowns. And I think will be a decision by Brad Tavares just for stuff the, stuff the takedowns, control the middle of the cage, leg kicks. He does a lot of leg kicks. And that can compromise Rodriguez. So my pick for this fight is Brad Tavares. And then we have this guy, Iho Potira. And I think he's not good. That's my opinion. I remember when he was fighting the Brazilian guy and he couldn't finish the guy. And the guy just survived and then beating him up. So I don't think he's too powerful, I don't think he's great at wrestling, I don't think he's not great at striking. I think he's a well-rounded fighter, but not excelling in any of the sports of MMA. And he's fighting Robert Brickcheck, his new Poland guy. I watched a couple fights of him on Europe and Octagon, and he seems pretty okay. I think he's way shorter than Potieria, but... I think he will compensate that with the movement because his movement, the way that his getaway of punches, the way he dodge punches, his movement is pretty solid, you know? It will be his first fight in UFC, so we still don't have enough information. But just based on Potira last fight, I think Robert Brichek is a pretty good bet. Again. We never know, brother. And remember, I'm not a financial advisor, okay? So please, don't take my word for granted, my brother. On the co-main event, we have Danig and André Fili. Both are very well-known. Danig fought a lot of uh, tough guys, beat some, lost to some. His record is not great, 17-7, and seven, but it's not bad at the same time. 5-7, he's short. He's more of a striker. He can defend takedowns. Uh, he can shoot for the takedowns, but primarily he's a striker and a solid striker. He's not a bad striker. And then we have André Fili, 23 and 10 and 5'11", 145. He's very tall. His last fight, he beat Lucas Almeida, the Brazilian guy, with a beautiful right cross to the head and was a good KO, a good performance. I think André Fili sometimes he struggle when he's fighting guys that have a wrestling background and that can control him and he's pretty solid on the striking very good kicks taekwondo style and i think dan Iggy is not gonna be able to shoot for takedowns he's not gonna be able to to land the better punches i think andre philly will be always at the end 
of his punches like being far off the Iggy and probably capitalize on a decision on that fight. And we have the last fight of the night. Let me tell you something, brother. UFC is doing a terrible job with these main events because this main event, Jack and Hammerson and Joy Pfizer, I don't think that's main event worthy. Especially because Joe Pfizer. And let me explain you. Not because Joe Pfizer is not good, because in the end of the day, I think he will win, but because he's not very well known. Jack Hermanson, even though he's coming off a loss, and even though he is a good fighter, but not the best of the division of the middleweight, he still fought a lot of good guys, and he has a good name on the sport. But I think Joe, Joe Pfeiffer is not like a guy that you want to see in a main event. But guess what? Nobody cares about Apex. I just fought there last time. <laughs> And you guys see, let's stop the Apex, my brother. Let's spread the message, stop the Apex. UFC, stop to being cheap. Travel all around the world, around the other states, my brother. And let's make UFC great again, my brother. Other than that, the main event, I think Joe Pfeiffer is pretty solid on the striking. We saw on the Al Hazan fight that he went for, for clinch, control, takedowns. So he is a solid fighter. And he is a good striker, good power. But I think on this fight again, that's going to be a striking versus grappling. Hermanson will try everything to get Joy Pfeiffer on the ground. But I don't think his wrestling is that good. Jack Hermanson is a very good jiu-jitsu guy. Uh, he has some submissions on knee bar, heel hooks, arm bar. Very well rounded on the ground. But he has his struggles to get into the range to get into the clinch and to shoot for takedown. So that going to have that's going to be a huge advantage for Joy Pfizer. And I think UFC wants new blood. I think UFC wants Joy Pfizer to win. So that's why they put the fight together on the Apex. And that was the video for today. Other than that, I'm not pretty excited about the fight, but we have to do what we have to do. I will watch the fights and one more thing. Friday, we're watching CFFC. If you can, watch CFFC on UFC Fight Pass. Money Moicano will be there with John Morgan from MMA Junk. And we will be the commentators for the whole card. So if you want to see Money Moicano is back in action outside the cage this time, doing the commentary and let you guys have the entertainment and the fun and the knowledge of a real fighter, a real badass, commentating the fight. So, wish me luck. Thank you so much. And never forget, subscribe and like, or I'm gonna beat your ass, mother. Hmm. Thank you so much. See you next time.